So for like the cargo stuff, do we need to do that for each truck? Like this is on this truck, this is on this Well, this is going to result in a long report, mm -hmm. right? So remember when I kind of walked you through how I brainstormed the Dr. Dre email, the good email? Remember we made the list of no's? Mm -hmm. And there's a whole bunch of details, but some of the details like sort of encapsulated a bunch of others. Mm -hmm. So you could do that. You could like brainstorm everything in detail, but then go through and say, well, if I just say this, what does it imply also is? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you could do that. Another thing you could do is pick your spots. Mm -hmm. You know, say like, I think that Spangler will be most concerned about customers. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to focus on. And that's something that you could tell me very clearly in the defining objectives worksheet if you choose to fill it out for this project. Or you could just write a note to me in the margin, say, I focused on this because blah, blah, blah. Because what I'm mostly concerned about is not that you write a super long report, mm -hmm. but that you show that, yeah, you can do this. You've got okay, this. So down. it's not getting facts if you don't say all four trucks, like what was in all four trucks? Now, that's a required fact. You've got to say what the cargo is okay. and what the, what the damage was in each case. Okay. Um, but if you only go into detail about one of the accidents to highlight why you're even more likely to, why Walmart is even more impressed with you than not, just do that once. You don't have to do that for each one, I don't think. Okay. To again, show to me, I understand how this works. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, question? Can you put that they all have the same thing? Mm -hmm. because there's lots of sure. Yeah, there's nothing in the directions that say that, they, that the cargo has to be different in each case. There's not even anything in the directions that says that it has to be a different customer or a different destination. Right? Maybe they were all deliveries to the Walmart in Lubbock on 4th Street, it's just that one delivery was coming from Plainview, another delivery was coming from Level Edge, you, you know. And that could be a really, a really, and if I'm reading that in your, re, in your assignment that you finally hand in, here's what I'll be thinking. Nice, smart, you're thinking like a time pixie because you're time pixieing yourself, right? Because the goal here is job one, follow the little directions. Job two, if you want to have a shot at an A or an A plus, show that I can do this. How can I do that with the minimum time and effort on my part? Well, one thing I can do is just simplify the situation to begin with. Time fix it yourself. Is that helpful? Great question. And my moms are general, generally longer, right? I, it depends. I mean, you know, the same thing with like, I think it was, was it you who um, you were talking about the advice that you had in the past of well if your email is over a certain number of words right mm -hmm. it, again it depends on the situation I've seen memos that are one paragraph because that's all they needed to accomplish their mission I've also seen memos that were 20 pages long because that's what they needed so the thing that differentiates a memo from an email as far as why you would write a memo instead of an email is a memo generally is more considered more formal. Not because the wording is any different, but just because it's a memo. Also, a memo is generally considered sort of more durable. It's going to hang around longer because it's a hard copy memo. So especially for an incident like this, it's you want to make it a memo because it's likely to hang out the company archives for a while. Um, it might show up in you know a lawsuit or you know regulatory review or something like that. So for something like that, you would want to write a memo instead of an email because because of that. But as far as length, again, like the uh, committee progress email report, was as long as it needs to be. And you can you can make smart choices about that. You could make again. Remember the four boxes. You could make a very long memo report that sucks. You could make a very long memo report that's great. You could make a very short memo report that sucks. You could make a very short memo report that's great. Which box do you want to be in? Great one. And? Short. Short and great. I would love to be in that box because if I make it long and great, well, okay, that's kind of great, but why didn't I time fix it myself like you were talking?